Good morning, Commission and staff. My name is Karen Sudi, and I'm with Friends of Oceano Dunes. I want to start by thanking the Commission for attending and speaking at the July Coastal Commission meeting. If this was your first time attending a Coastal Commission meeting, I'm sure it was an eye-opening experience into the anti-OHV Commission that rules California's coast with a tremendous amount of bias. I'm pleased to hear of this Commission's desire to work with the Coastal Commission, and hopefully both Commissions can come together and have a productive understanding. The Oceano Dunes is facing some serious challenges this next year. We're battling more restrictions and demands for closure from the Coastal Commission. A free-spirited Wild West attitude has become the new normal out of the dunes, and inadequate numbers of law enforcement is patrolling the park. The ODSVRA has been without a superintendent for nearly three years. This isn't fair to the park staff or to the visitors of the SVRA. While State Parks is focused on the Public Works Plan, the park and its image is in a downward spiral. You can't open the local paper without realizing that Oceano Dunes SVRA is a PR nightmare. Trash litters the beach and dumpsters are overflowing. We were promised a beach rake back in 2017, and we're still waiting. Traffic backs up onto access roads, and visitor safety seems to be an afterthought. While the Oceano Dunes District has stepped up its online safety campaign, we need more rangers writing more citations and letting visitors know the Wild West behavior will no longer be tolerated. The current dust mitigation plan has forced riders into a smaller park with wind fencing that has changed the landscape of the dunes and in a way that has become detrimental to the park visitors. Since January, we've had six deaths at the ODSVRA, and while any death is too many, the current management of the SVRA, SVRA is below the standard expected of any, any California state park, let alone the most popular SVRA in the state park system. We need to continue to fight for a no net loss philosophy. 1,500 acres was established for camping and motorized recreation, while 21 acres acts as a buffer zone between the riding area and the park boundary. A no net loss adaptive park management style would allow for agreed upon dust mitigation and continued camping and motorized recreation by shifting the park's boundaries to accommodate both. A no net loss philosophy would bring a forward thinking management style to the o that the ODSBRA desperately needs. A few weeks ago, Friends of Oceano Dunes met with the Staff Resource Secretary, Mr. Wade Crowfoot. We had the opportunity to discuss our no net loss philosophy and the challenges facing the park. And you should have received copies of the presentation we had from Mr. Crowfoot. I hope Friends of Oceano Dunes and ultimately the users of the SVRA can count on the OHV Commission's continued support in finding solutions that are realistic, effective, and immediate. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sutley. Just a personal comment. Uh, we appreciate all the work you guys do down there and your outreach you. and uh, the information that you provide the Commission. Thank you.